lovelies. I want to get something straight. The thing is, I don't get heated about many things. And I actually was not heated about this exact topic. But I have been discriminated against. This is the thing. I'm being discriminated against for something that I'm not even partaking in. Uh, it's stereotypical and it's not something that I am taking part in. Okay? So, I'm at a restaurant. Hello, ma'am. May I, um, interest you in a menu? Why, thank you. Yes. Um, I was wondering, did you have a gluten-free menu here? Oh. I'll be right back with that. Here's the gluten-free menu. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, um, did you decide on what you wanted to order? Yeah, I would actually like, um, your chicken sandwich, but just without the bun. Actually, you can just leave it. I'll just take it off. Um, and then could I have a side of french fries? Um, we do batter our french fries. They're not on the gluten menu that I gave you. Well, that's okay. I actually do quite well with fries and that shouldn't be a problem. Thank you though. Yeah, I'll be right back with that. Here's the deal. I am allergic to gluten. I do not have a disease. I do not have celiac disease. Thank the Lord. I am allergic. Are there people out there that are allergic to flowers that, I don't know, get roses for Valentine's Day? Or maybe get fresh cut roses from outside and put them in their house? Just because you're allergic to them doesn't mean you don't dabble a little. And there are things that I'm less allergic to. Like for instance, uh, french fries, not a big deal. For someone with celiacs, it's a big freaking deal. They cannot even have makeup products with gluten in them. I do not have celiac disease. I'm okay with it. Then there's this other thing that happened around the time that I found out that I was allergic to gluten. Um, I don't want gluten because like it makes me feel bloated and I just like when I get into my bikini just had a little bit of a belly after I eat so I decided to just like go completely gluten free no judgment here although I just did that in a really stereotypical blonde girl accent a little bit of judgment here honestly here's the thing I am allergic to gluten yes meaning if I eat gluten I get violently sick and I have to throw up. My stomach is upset for days if I even just have a little bit. But there are things that I have found through cheating and through violently getting sick from things that don't bother me that badly. And I'll just get a little upset stomach. Like how some people like spicy chili. Sometimes it hurts your stomach but you're still gonna eat it. The moral of the story is, don't be judging me if I go to a menu, go to a restaurant, ask for your gluten-free menu, and don't get something off your gluten-free freaking menu, okay? I don't have silly ax disease. Did I say I had a disease? No, I didn't, okay? Here we have three areas. One, silly ax disease. Freaking awful. I cannot imagine having it, even though I'm allergic to gluten, because literally, they cannot even have, this is how real this gets. They can even, to put it, if they put lotion on their face, they can't have gluten in it. Why does lotion have gluten in it? I will never know. But they can't have it. So that's freaking crazy. I cannot imagine having to look at every single lotion or makeup that I put on my face before I do to see if it's gonna like, I don't know, send me to the hospital. So that's some serious shit. Level two, gluten sensitivity, allergy. I am allergic to gluten, steer, I steer clear of it. I cannot just have a piece of toast anymore. And now that I've detoxed my system and I don't have gluten in it anymore, just the slightest bit can throw me off. 
and no, it's not going to kill me to have a slice of bread, but yes, I will be up all night taking baths, taking my stomach medication, upset, throwing up, not a good time. At level three, I'm like, sleep just makes me feel bloated. No, I'm just kidding. But for real, level three is people that are people are noticing that um, they have a sensitivity to gluten and that they're feeling sick, kind of the opposite of throwing up out the other end problems. If they eat too much of it, they feel sluggish and maybe fatigued or tired. So they're steering clear of it for like health reasons and junk and stuff. I thought it was a blessing when I first started because I was like, look at all this marvelous gluten-free food. I'm so lucky. And then I started getting discriminated against. And that's the end of Emily's story time. I'm just kidding. Excellent! And I hope you're having a painless, stressless, stressless? Yeah, that works. But I normally say stress free, so let's put it at that. Gosh, I got so upset that my bun freaking fell off of my head.